Telling Your Story on WCBI Sports with Cam Dyer. We are getting closer and closer to high school football playoff time, and a division championship is on the line in our end zone game of the week. We're just a couple of days out from a matchup between the Hamilton Lions and the Vardaman Rams. The Lions are in the midst of a historic season, heading into week nine undefeated at eight and zero. Getting this deep into the schedule without a loss is impressive on its own, but it's an even bigger deal to this Hamilton program who hasn't had a winning season in nine years. While this is only Wade Tackett's second season as the head coach at Hamilton, he said he's been reminded by the town of the success the Lions once had during their run this season. It's been unbelievable. Um, you know, the history of Hamilton, you know, 40, 45 years ago, Hamilton was the epitome of high school football in Mississippi. Um, had a great, great winning streak under Coach Jimmy Moore, and a lot of those those players are, are now granddaddies in town, and, and they like to remind me of those days. Uh, but, no, this town, they love it. They're here every Friday night. Even when we're on the road, they show up um, in droves, and it's it's just amazing. And how about this? We're only 19 days away from Mississippi State men's basketball's first game against Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Chris Jans has seen a lot of roster turnover since he took the reins, but he's expecting big things for a key returner. Senior forward Tolu Smith will be one of the cornerstones for the Bulldogs this year. In his two seasons at State, Smith is averaging over 13 points per game along with 7.6 rebounds. Jans believes Smith could have just scratched the surface of his potential. And if MSU is going to make the NCAA tournament like Jans has said he expects, Smith will be a big reason why. On the floor, his ceiling, at least for this year, to me is to be a first-team all-league player. I, obviously, I haven't coached in the league. I've coached against some of these guys and some of these programs in the past. And uh, But he's got that kind of ability to um, be a surprise, to be a first-team uh, all-SEC performer. And to be honest with you, if we're going to have the type of year that we want to have, you know, he's going to have to uh, play at that level. And he's capable of it. And that'll do it for sports. We'll be back after this.